Boom and we're live. What is going on YouTube? It's me Andrew here. Welcome to this video. Well today I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure your bloody mouse. Now bloody is a company that makes gaming mouses by A4 Tech. Um, you guys can try to go to their website bloody.com to get the bloody dot no bloody.com bloody dot c o m but their website is currently down. I could verify that. Is it down? bloody.com and check to see the website is currently down so you won't be able to get the drivers not the drivers but like you won't be able to get the um, the software for the um, bloody 5 and or bloody 4 for your mouse so you have you want to go ahead and go to the link in the description and download the um, the, tr the software in the description I'm gonna put on media fire or mega upload no not mega upload I mean uh, uh, mega.co.nz mega mega.com and then so you guys can see the website is down so you want to go ahead and download this file bloody 5 right here and install it once it's installed you want to go ahead and open it up you guys can see that I have the mouse thing right here I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my my wireless my mouse from my PC and use the wireless mode um, but yeah, uh, once once you have it installed, you want to go ahead and open up Bloody. The software, because the app is already running, and it's going to open up. You're going to see a bunch of cores here. You're not going to have core 3 and 4 if you don't have the uh, premium version of the mouse. But you can purchase uh, core 3 and 4, or you can um, use a crack to crack it and then get the core 3 and 4. But I'm not going to show you guys how to do that. I don't think you guys should do that. I think I should support them and pay uh, money and get the core 3 and 4 which is what I did or well, maybe my mouse came with it, I'm not sure um, we yeah, core 3 and 4 is activated and um, so yeah you click on core 3 and that will give you the FPS mode uh, core 4 is for um, RT, uh, uh, RPG and um, I'm RPG games that's until my mouse is not working anymore because I clicked on core 4 by accident but let's wait for it to finish and then you can change it back there we go, you guys can hear that, that sound. Core change completed. I'm going to put it back on Core 3, which is Core 3 is what you want to be selecting. So I'm going to change the Core to 3, which is for FPS games, headshots, and senior level FPS games. Let me turn on my sensitivity and save it. That's how I say it. Turn on my sensitivity over there. Okay, so you guys want to get to the, the, what we're here for, which is the um, the macros for Battlefield 4 and and Call and Call of Duty and all the other games. Well, I don't know how to create the macros yet, but I mean, I know how to import other people's users, other users' configs and play with them. So you want to go ahead and go to uh, Headshot. And under headshot, you want to go to folder. You want to click create new folder, name it whatever game you're playing. So mine is BF4, right? And then go to file, in, file in, file out, and click the game folder BF4. Find the place you downloaded the config file from. Uh, so I got mine from a, a bunch of YouTubers. So I, the guy named Yellow13 on MPGN, you can go check him out. Uh, I'm not gonna share uh, his link, but you guys can uh, go and watch this video. Just type in uh, AK971 no recoil, bloody mouse, and then you can see his video. Okay, so uh, you double click on that, and you're gonna see a bunch of uh, different versions and different setups of the of the mouse. So you guys can see this one is uh, AK971 with the RDS and the com compensator. So you wanna click on each one of those, and then click over at the screen arrow and add it you guys can see I already added it and you guys want to add as many as many uh, as many as many uh, files as many files for each different weapons as you can now here comes the fun part here's how you activate the um, the cores so uh, it depends on which gun you're gonna run but I think right now the only thing I know is that I can run two weapons 
I can I can either bind them to the, the three or the N key, right? So uh, the one I use the most is the AK971 with the uh, RDS and compensator. So I bind that to the N key. You guys can look at your mouse underneath the scroll wheel. You're gonna see one N and three. You can click on that, the N key, and it will change to green. Like it says, like the text is. Or you can click on the uh, what do you call it? You can change whatever next next one you want to the three key, and then you can change that to. You can click on the three key, and it will change the the, the mouse. The mouse scroll wheel will change the will change the yellow. Anyway, so you guys can see what this config does is that it um, makes up for the recoil. So um, let me press. Let me go ahead and press. Put it into the. Uh, end mode and then press the, the mouse button you guys see what it's doing right there right it's moving it by itself i'm not even dragging and, and moving the mouse and it's automatically making up for the recoil so that's if i can see so when you, when you shoot the gun it follows the recoil pattern and cracks it okay so i'm gonna change back to the regular core let's see how the, the core is changing from here to it's right there right so i've just put on one three and one anyways guys uh yeah so that's how you do it you click apply and click ok and if, if you want to add more more uh more of these to the keys there's two more keys uh on the left side of the mouse that i'm using which is the bloody uh r7a there's two keys left and right keys you want to go back to button and then you can use the left this is the left key, which is the it'll highlight it for you, right here. Okay, you can even use the scroll wheel and add other macros to it. So this other mod that I'm using is the Scar H mod. So yeah, um, right here, uh, Scar H. You just go to Macro Select. You click on this little downwards arrow, go to Macro Select, and then you go to BF4, whatever you save the Scar H. And I'm gonna put that there. Click apply. You guys can see that it does have 160 kilobytes of onboard memory on the mouse, so you won't get caught by Punk Buster or uh, VAC because it's not it's not using any software mods. It's mostly hardware driven, hardware accelerated mods. So you guys can see that it has memory on board, but you want to go ahead and click apply. And um, yeah, you want to head go to headshot, and you can change. You, this way you create you create uh, different macros for different games. If you're really skilled and you know how to do it, there's a bunch of YouTube videos on YouTube. When I learn how to do, I'll make a video explaining that. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go back and apply one more time, and let's hop into a game and see how this thing performs. So we're gonna test our battlefield. Uh, the end key, okay. What is our battlefield for? It is now in the game. Let's wait for it. There we go. So we're gonna launch on the US base. And let's go to the AK setup. AK setup. With the computer. Okay, Alright, so I'm gonna test it out over here. I'm gonna test it out over here and show you without the uh, macro. See the spray? See that? That's without the macro. Now let's put the macro on. Look at that. Look the difference. It's a whole clip. Let me do it one more time. So, this is without. And this is with. You guys can see that you do have a bit of an advantage. I mean, if you're gonna buy this expensive mouse. You might as well use the software that comes with it and take the full advantage of it because this is a $7 mouse. I mean, I'd probably stay saying, oh, you're hacking, you're cheating, but I mean, get a better mouse, man. 
if this monster is available on PC and you're not gonna get banned using it, you might as well buy it and use it. See the difference with the recoil? Let me try it on the wall. Actually, let me try a different weapon. Let me try this car H. Redeploy. Yeah. Um. Let's try this car H. Let me try Bonton Moss. Let's start 21. Uh. Oops, let me turn off the core. Discard H. Deploy. Deploy. Alright, let's try the other side. Alright, so this is Discard H. It's Discard H. So this is without. Start from the bottom. See that spray? All that recoil? That's me holding the mouse still and firing. Now this is with. See that? That is pretty awesome. See the difference with this and that? And that's a whole clip right there. All right, guys. Um, I set up with the um thing. Okay, guys. Uh, that's how you set up the mouse, and it's pretty easy. It took me a while to figure it out and I thought I'd make this video to help anybody doubt that has the mouse and wants to take full advantage of it. If you want to create macros, you just click on headshot and you can create a wing. And when you're done, you can share it to the internet and let other people use it. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If it helped, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. It's been Andrew Say, signing out. Peace.